Hello there, my Virgo collective. I hope you're having a wonderful day. What's up, Virgos? You can ring my bell, ring my bell. Ring a ling Virgos. You've come up, I think, in two different people's readings. I just called out Virgo. So I don't know what the hell you're doing, Virgo. You're getting around. Or, there are a lot of people thinking about you, Virgo. What's up with that? God protects me and God fights my battles. No weapon formed in spirit or physical against me shall prosper. I'm highly favored and protected from all evil. As is my beautiful Virgo collective. Virgo, what we got? Three or four of these things? Yeah, campfire circle. <laughs> You're definitely getting around. Um, not in like a negative sense. Your energy. Create deep and magical connections. Relationships, bonding, and community. Headspace. I told you you're getting around. <laughs> you are overflowing with creativity. Creative energy, new ideas, and productivity. So maybe you're like uh, kind of all over the place. A lot, of, uh, a lot of good ideas. I think you're definitely floating in and out of the different zodiac signs. You're, you're like really tasting the zodiac uh energy here halfway point meet in the middle compromise common ground and reconciliation well from the get-go we're getting a lot of circle energy i'm liking that then we got childhood home tap into your inner child childhood memories play youthful energy you're very creative you're understanding a lot um I'm liking that. Yeah, I'm really getting with this headspace and that childhood home halfway point. Like some of you are like going back old school. You're going back old school. Alien planet. Make yourself at home. Adaptability, change, and originality. All we have is now. Uh, this childhood home. I feel like you're you're kind of just taking it back old school. <sighs> You're tapping into a lot of different energies, a lot of the different zodiac signs. Uh, I think you're trying to see what... It's almost like you're shopping and you're going... Like each zodiac sign was a, a, a aisle in the grocery store. And you're just kind of going down each and kind of picking what you want. Uh, kind of a mismatch. So you could be feeling... Uh, a little uh, tired. It's like you're all over the place. But I like that though. That creative energy and uh, new ideas and productivity. But it's like you're like you're at the art shop. You're just trying to use whatever works for you. Because I told you, you've, you've showed up in like two or three readings just out of the blue. King of Swords with the Ten of Pentacles. You've got some really good ideas. Stay focused on what it is you're doing. Some of y'all are taking it back to what you originally knew. You are. You're like just, uh, you're in the Zodiac grocery store and you're just shopping from uh, all different Zodiac signs. Definitely very creative energy. Because you're tapping into other uh, energies. So I feel like you, um, if there's artists, musicians, something like that that you like, I think you're kind of borrowing from a lot of different people. So uh, when you get stuck, uh, you just go watch a certain uh, video or you read a certain book or you look at something that kind of, you're mastering, someone's an astrologer. Someone's an astrologer. That, that's why you go back and forth. So maybe you know your chart. Because you're like, you're like all over, but it's not like a scattered all over. You're being very specific, the energies that you tap into, because you know the outcome that you want. Right? It's, it's far more analytical than just haphazard. Okay, Virgo. So, Virgo, did we cut the deck? I don't even remember. Yeah, it's not scattered. 
It's not haphazard. You're you're doing this on purpose. Yeah, the world card. You're doing this on purpose. You're taking uh, like the best of the best and, and making it work to your benefit. The fool card. Five of swords. Five of wands. Yeah. With the seven of wands. <sighs> Someone's definitely into astrology. Someone could be uh, checking out their charts. Sidereal. Wait, is sidereal and Vedic the same? You got your Western and you got your Eastern chart, right? Whatever you're doing, you're working on both. Yeah. Maybe this is what you want to do for work. I feel it's very creative. Whatever you're doing, you're like a it's really good problem solving energy. To be quite honest with you, this five of wands or the seven of wands, you like bring order. Yeah, you like bring order to the chaos. Um and the way you do it is by uh looking at the uh the energies. You know the energy signatures. Five of swords there to the full card. Problem solver energy. Problem solver energy. Three of Pentacles with the Eight of Cups. Queen of Swords. You could travel to do this. This could be something you do for a living. So you could be in, in analytics. If you're not an astrologer, this is just someone who studies like the analytics of things. Um, it seems haphazard, but it's not. It's like you could look at... Uh, it's like you can look at a chart and you know exactly where to look and what the numbers mean. That could be what you do for a living. Four swords. Yeah, you bring uh, calmness to the chaos. Six of pentacles. Problem solving. This could be what you do for a living. Problem solver. Three of wands. What are you doing, though? This, uh, whatever the hell you're doing, it's going to work to your benefit. You could almost be freelance. It feels like you're you're the problem solver. Uh, analytically, you can solve the problems, but you're you're also sort of hands on too. You know what I mean? So if you don't do this for a living, this is just the way you navigate life, uh, Virgo. Whatever the hell this is, this comes easy. I feel like you could be a teacher. Because that four of swords with that queen of swords to the five of swords gives me teacher energy. Um, It's like if you can't fix it online, you can go out into the field to fix it. Mentally you can do it, and then physically you can do it. You're like, you're like the creator energy. You like the creator energy. You're very good at what you do. That's why you stand out here at this Aquarius energy. It's funny that Aquarius is the only other sign that comes up, but you've been all over the place. Very analytical. What's between that Ace of Wands and the Star card? The Six of Wands. So whatever it is you're focused on doing right now, uh, Virgo, keep doing it. Three of Pentacles, you could be thinking about going freelance. This could be something you do for work. Uh, it could be a teaching position. You might have to travel. Uh, some of you may go from more of a stationary job to more of a hands-on. Because I think you're able to make that sort of leap. You can do both. You know, you can sit at a computer and do your work. Or you're not afraid to get out there and get your hands dirty. Either way, you're, it's problem-solving energy. Problem-solving energy, it's teaching energy. Uh, I could definitely see you making money at this. You're very good at whatever the hell it is that you're doing here. Over that Six of Wands is the Ten of Cups. I'm getting like astrology, but it's also like being able to read a spreadsheet. Um, you can take the chart and the graph and, and make sense of it. 
uh, analytically and then like explaining it and actually going out and doing the work. You're able to kind of pick and choose. It's like if you're given the sheet, you know exactly where to look, what to use. If you're given someone's chart, you know exactly where to go and what to do. This is a very interesting energy, Virgo. Uh, if this is what you do for work or something that you want to do for work, I'd say go for it. Some of y'all could be going from more of the computer-based or the analytical side to more of the hands-on, uh, which could actually be a pay raise. For some of you, it could literally be a move. Um, we got childhood homes, so some of you could be moving closer to where you grew up. Whatever you do, you're like all over the place, but at the same time, you're not. You're able to do what you need to do. It's like you can pick from. You know how to just tune into that energy and go there. There you go. You know how to tune in and do what you need to do, and then you're, you're done. You're very good at it, too. Interesting that Aquarius was the only energy that showed up. Card-wise. Ergo, what's the bottom of the deck? The world card, justice, the chariot. Yeah, whatever the hell it is you do, you're very good at it. You're very good at it. Queen of Wands, Knight of Swords. Judgment. I feel like you're going to have to make a decision, though. With that uh, Ten of Cups there, maybe your job is going to make you move or allow you to move and upgrade, and you're going to have to think about it. Because you've got the King and Queen of Wands, so... Uh, magician. Strength card. Capricorn here. So now we have... Uh, Libra, Cancer, Leo, and Capricorn. And there's Scorpio. If you're going through a situation in your life, you're trying to figure out the best way to make it work. There could almost be a separation, so you're trying to figure out how you're going to make this work. Especially if you've got to move for work. Seven of Cups with the Four of Pentacles. Strength Magician and Capricorn Energy. You could travel for work or you could be just very busy. This is going to be what you're going to have to decide. That's why Aquarius was down there. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? You've got a decision to make. This feels like part of a personal psych energy, uh, relationship, family-wise. You could be trying to figure out how you're going to make it work. You could travel a lot, but now you want to be a little closer to home. This feels work-related. Maybe you just work too fucking much. What's this judgment about? What's this judgment about? Where are we at? 1442? Clarify this judgment. What is a decision Virgo has to make? You're busy as fuck and you're all over the place. 
Ten of Wands, yeah. Uh, maybe some of you, this is a, a work-life balance. Maybe that's why you're going to change jobs. You could go from more of a sit-down job to more of a hands-on. To be a little closer to family. I don't know what your situation is. We got the King and Queen of Wands here. So this could be your family. This could be extended family. Um, but it feels like you got a decision to make. That's why you're all over. Because there's multiple people in your decision making uh, factor right now. Some of it is relationships. Being a little closer to where you need to be. Okay, it, it, family. Maybe it's family, right? You love what you do, but maybe you're not home enough. So this could be a career switch. That's why you're all over the place. You've got a lot of different energies. Feels like this is dealing with personal life. So it feels like work life is going good, but you got decisions there to make. In order to kind of solve a problem you have with your personal life. Work is good, but maybe you're not home enough. Uh, work is good, but, you know, maybe you want more. So you're trying to figure out how to, you know, get that uh, work-life balance in. Yeah, work-life balance. It's a work-life balance. And that's the truth. So if you don't have a family, maybe you want to create a family. Maybe you've met somebody. For some of you, this is your regular family, your extended family. Um, and you've got to figure out maybe how to get closer to home. Work looks good. I think this situation, you're going to figure out the best way to do it. It does seem messy. Because I'm looking at Queen of Pentacles, the Lovers, the Empress. Eight of Wands, Ten of Wands with the Three of Swords. So it's taken a while to get a resolution here. It has taken a while to get a resolution. Keep plugging away at it because you're going to figure it out. You're going to figure it out. Yeah, this could almost be the argument of, you know what, I don't care about the money. I want would rather have you closer to me. And someone else is maybe rethinking a whole situation. So, it might get a little messy. I think work life is good. Personal life, you're trying to figure out how to get that. It feels like a work-life balance, though. It really feels like a work-life balance. Take care of yourself, though. Drink plenty of water. Stay grounded. Stay focused. This almost feels like a teaching energy or going and actually doing hands-on work. That's a decision someone has to make. You like what you do, but, you know, you want to be a little closer to home. Three of Pentacles here. You're going to figure it out. But some of y'all, you're going to have to find a happy medium, especially if you're dealing with other people, right? You can only do so much, so it's like finding that halfway point. Damn, Virgos, that was a deep-ass reading. I like it, though. So just, you'll figure it out. You'll figure it out. Halfway point. Halfway point. You can ring my bell, ring my bell, ring-a-ling-a-ling. -a -ling. Peace, love, and life, Virgos.